Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can use Terraform modules to write code for multiple environments, right? So you can write code once and use it to deploy uh, that in multiple environments, right? Let's get started without wasting any time. So as you can see, I'm in my terminal and I have created three directories. Uh, so modules is one, and then there's one directory for my prod environment and the other one for my staging environment, right? So now let me quickly switch to VS Code because I'll be coding in VS Code. All right. So in modules, I'm going to create a file which will be, or rather not file, I'll probably create a directory and call it say VPC underscore module, right? And inside this, I would create a file called main.tf. I'm not putting any code right now. I'm just creating files and I'll create another file. We'll call it variables.tf. So these are common files you must be aware we use in Terraform, right? <coughs> so we are going to write a VPC module and then use that VPC module to deploy it in our production environment and in our staging environment, right? So let's write it. So we write the resource definition in our module. So resource, we'll call it AWS underscore VPC. For name, I'll call it IVPC, right? And this requires a CIDR block. We'll give it say, or rather, I'll call CIDR block from a variable. So where dot VPC underscore CIDR. So we have not defined this variable yet, right? So just calling it. Enable DNS hostname, true. And enable, God, where the, true. And enable, underscore dns underscore support equals true so that's pretty much our vpc definition right now let's create some resources which gets created by when we create a vpc like the uh, uh, internet gateway so again resource AWS underscore internet underscore gateway and we'll call it my IG W right and then I think this requires only VPC ID VPC underscore ID here yeah. So this would come from AWS myvpc dot id. So this is a good thing coding in VS Code. You see, it auto populates a lot of stuff. You don't have to remember. All right. So that's for Internet Gateway. Now let's see what else we have. So we have subnets in VPC, private subnet, public subnet, right? So we can create that as well. So let's quickly create one public subnet and one private subnet. So resource AWS underscore subnet. We'll call it public. We're creating just one, so I'm not giving it any prefix, right? All right, so this is going to take a CIDR block and CIDR block would come from CIDR subnet so this is a function basically uh, it's a predefined terraform function which you can use right to create subnets and what it's going to take is it's going to take where dot vpc cider i think we defined that in our variables file right so we have not defined it but if you see VPC CIDR, okay. So we have to find it above. Then it's going to take uh, 
what block we want to create so we want a slash uh, whatever our vpc slider just add it to it right so suppose if we are going to create a vpc slider of slash 16 so subnets will want of slash 24 so that's what it's going to do and this would be fun i mean you can read that read about the subnets uh, whenever you have time right all right and then this is going to take vpc id again it will auto populate to aws dot id that's pretty much it and i'm using side the subnet because this is going to generate subnets uh, dynamically right so you don't have to hard code any subnet values for server uh, don't have to hard code any cider values for subnets resource aws underscore subnet and we'll call it private and again i think i'll just copy this whole thing right instead of writing it right and make a change over here i'll call it two and rest everything remains the same uh, let me put these in quotes right so this looks good uh, now let's go to a variables file and define variable uh, we had ppc underscore cider right and type would be string and we'll give it a default value that would be 10 dot say 1 dot 0 dot 0 slash 16 right so in case we don't give any value to our subnet uh, any you uh, know to our side side block of FIFA VPC it will use this default value right let's save this let's save this and i think we have our module so we have created our uh, module now let's go to our production uh, environment right and create a couple of files over here so we'll again create main.tf and we'll create another variables.tf right and same thing i'll do for staging we'll create main.tf and variables.tf all right so i mean you must be wondering that i have not created a lot of stuff here because the i mean you have to create a route tables you have to create route table bindings right you have to create network load network gateways for uh, giving internet access to the resources in private subnet but i mean for this demonstration i didn't need all those stuff so that's why i'm just skipping that i mean although i mean the vpc module in itself is pretty huge we would have to create a lot of resources but for this demonstration i think these four resources are more than enough right all right so now in our main.tf in our production environment we are going to use the module which we have created right so the way you do it is with module keyword you give it a name so you can give it any name so i'll give it my module and then you can you need to give it the source so where your module is it could be a git repository as well or it could be i mean if you have it on local you need to provide the relative path right so my path would be uh, in the modules directory under ppc underscore module right so this is my source and now i can define the variables so what variables we had in our variables or tf file or in brother so we had cider block so vpc cider is one so we can define vpc cider in the main.tf right so vpc underscore cider 
and this time this would come from the variable files of this particular environment right so var dot i would call prod cidr right so we have not defined prod cidr but we'll do it simultaneously so that we don't get lost so we we'll go ahead variable prod cidr and again type would be string and default if you want to give a default since we have defined the default value earlier you can leave it but in case you want to give it a default so again 10.1.0.0 slash 16 so this would be the default value right and if we want to override any other variable we don't have any other variable to override right so that's pretty much it and now if we just copy the same stuff and go to our main.tf file in staging and put it over here right and instead of prod cidr we'll call it stg cidr and we'll define variable stg cidr type string default and say your staging has 10.2 side right dot zero dot zero slash 16 so this value is going to override the value of our module all right let's save this save all right so i think we have done whatever was required let's see if we have made any mistake uh, we'll find out when we'll run our terraform plan right so let's go inside our prod directory and to first initialize this uh, module which we have created we need to do terraform init and one thing we've missed uh, if you guys have noticed or not but in the main.tf file we need to define provider as well right if you remember because we have not uh, initialized a provider we have not told terraform what provider are we going to use whether it is aws or i mean azure or anything right so let's quickly do that so that would be provider and it would be AWS in our case and region would be so I'm just hard coding the region you can get the region from your variables file as well US East 1 and we'll just copy this definition of provider and we'll put this in our staging environment as well save this all right let's go back to our terminal i'm not sure if we have to do terraform in it again no we don't all right so let's do terraform plan and see if we get any error so we are getting error <coughs> only after apply okay Oh, I got it. Yes, so where is my definition? This is the problem over here. Let's quickly get rid of this. So I put everything in. It's good, right? I mean, you get a little bit of troubleshooting as well. You understand where you can make mistakes, right? All right, so this is good. Let me clear the screen and run Terraform plan again. And it has worked. So you can see for a production environment. And I 
I think I made another mistake. Yeah, I made another mistake. So this should be one. And let me clear the screen again and let's do Terraform plan again in our production. So this should be good this time. So 10 dot <coughs> 1 dot 2. So VPC cider is 1.16. That is good. 10.1 is my public subnet and 1.2 is my private subnet. So this is good, right? So you see, I mean we wrote one module and we've used it in our production environment. Now let's clear the screen and go to our staging environment. And let's do Terraform init. Let's clear the screen. And let's do Terraform plan. Uh, let me just check if I have corrected our staging main. Looks like, yeah. So let's do Terraform plan. And this has also worked. So you can see the VPC cider, it has been overridden. So it is 10.2 now, which we have defined in our variables file within our staging environment, right? And you can see the cider blocks. So 10.1. So these are generated dynamically by the cider subnet function, which we have used, right? And yeah, so you see that we wrote one module. I mean, similarly, you can write modules for compute, modules for your IAM, right? And you can just use the, reuse them. I mean, it's a dry, basically dry objective. So don't repeat yourself. So this is how you do in Terraform using modules, right? So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you like the videos, guys. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving. And thank you for watching.